In this video, I am going to show you how to quickly and easily create educational videos using an online service called Narakeet. I have a lot of experience creating narrated PowerPoint videos. I have created literally hundreds of them for textbook publishers. In fact, I created over 100 videos totaling over 5 hours for just one textbook. I have also created over 150 video problem tutorials for my college students. About half are in operations management and the other half are in statistics. My students encouraged me to share them with others so I created two MOOCs on Udemy.com. The more popular one was the operations management tutorials so that URL is shown on the screen. I will also put a link to it in the description. I ended up creating so many narrated PowerPoint videos that I created an entire course on how to create narrated PowerPoint videos on Udemy.com. That URL is also shown on the screen and I will also put a link to it in the description. Having said all of that, for many of you, Narakeet is all you need. I will walk you through the process of creating a narrated video using Narakeet. Using Narakeet is a quick way to create educational videos for your students. It is much quicker and easier than any other approach I have seen or worked with. With Narakeet, you create your PowerPoint slides normally. Most likely, you have some or all of these already. Later in this video, I will give you some formatting hints to make your videos as effective as possible. You will need to write the script. You write it in the notes area of PowerPoint as you create or edit the slides. You load this PowerPoint deck into Narakeet and it creates your video for you, completely automatically. The rendering is very quick, just a couple of minutes for the entire video. It is so very much quicker than rendering videos on your own computer. If you are like me, as you listen to your final video, you will think of things you want to add or corrections you want to make. That is so easy with Narakeet. Just load your slide deck into PowerPoint and make your changes. Then, have Narakeet render the revised video. Based on what I have learned creating hundreds of educational videos, I will give you a few pointers to make your videos as effective as possible. First, only cover one topic per video. It is better to have a bunch of videos on a chapter or subject than to have one long video. With one topic per video, your students can easily find just the material they want to listen to. I have four different courses on my Udemy.com MOOC. Udemy.com limits each video to 20 minutes or less. They are professionals and they feel that 20 minutes is the longest video that students will listen to. Personally, I think 20 minutes is too long for most videos. I aim for 10 minutes or less. Of course, that is easier when you create a separate video for each topic like I suggested. Notice how the video changes each time I move to a new topic. That helps to keep the student engaged by having both new audio and new video. It is a balancing act. Put most of the content in the audio and you have a podcast. Just read the slides to the students and they will tune out the audio. In case you are wondering, it is easy to create this effect. For this list, for example, I just created the first slide. That one just had the title. I copied it and added the first item in the list. I copied that slide and added the second item in the list. And so on. Remember, you want to balance the audio and video. If you find yourself with more than a paragraph of narration for a single slide, look for ways to split your narration, perhaps by adding an item to your list. By way of an example, I was originally going to discuss this under item number 3 but decided that narration was getting too long so I added this fourth item. I will have more to say about this briefly when I make some formatting recommendations but keep in mind that your students are likely watching your video on their phone. In my experience, more than half of my videos are watched using a phone and another 25% are watched on a tablet. I have seen a lot of videos based on terribly formatted PowerPoint slides. What works in the classroom is never the best for creating videos. My purpose here is to give you some pointers to produce the best possible videos. And remember, as I said earlier, many of your students will be watching these videos on their phones. First, Ditch the slide numbers as well as any other information you typically place at the bottom of each slide. Slide numbers just do not make any sense at all in a video. Think of all the YouTube videos you have watched. Did any of them have numbers or dates at the bottom of the screen? I doubt it. If you absolutely have to have a copyright notice, just put it on the first slide and not all of them. 
As I discussed earlier, you want to load your bullet and list points one at a time the way I am doing here. That helps your students keep engaged with the video. This is something I never do in the classroom. It just keeps me tied down advancing the slides all the time. In a classroom, I throw up the entire slide at once and then talk about it. That approach just does not work with a video. Personally, I never use PowerPoint animation or transitions but I know some instructors love them. Narakeet ignores them anyway so just strip them out of your slide deck. Always, always use a plain white background. That makes your video show up the best on the screen. Also, avoid fancy formatting, like backgrounds or images on each slide. As you can see, these slides have just a yellow sweep to separate the titles from the content. Simple formatting like that is optimal. I do sometimes use a fancy image or design on the title slide but never after that first slide. You want your text to be as readable as possible. So, use black, dark blue, or dark brown text to maximize its visibility. Do not try anything fancy. I once saw a video with a black background and red text. It was almost unwatchable. Finally, you want to use large fonts. The font I am using for text is 32 points and that is about as small as you want to go. Remember, lots of your students will be watching the video on a phone and so the font will appear much smaller to them on that small screen. So, those are my design points based on lots of experience. The current Narakeet prices are on the screen and are shown in US dollars. The time is for the final video. As you can see, it is very inexpensive to use even if you have to pay for it out of your own pocket. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful as you get started creating educational videos using Narakeet.